Yo, what is up everybody? My name is Vulpin, and today I am bringing you a Duelist Live that I promised in my most recent Duelist Replay video, uh, and it's going to feature the lovely Cyan Asajj. Uh, let's take a look at the deck list here really quick. It is nothing special, it is still a work in progress. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and change this name so everybody knows it's a work in progress. Uh, essentially, our win condition is Grandmaster Noshrek. It is a very fun card to play with, uh, very annoying to play against. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's a tough card. I think maybe it needs some kind of rework or something, but uh, it's a card you don't want to get near because it's big and it causes you double damage, but you need to get near it in order to either dispel it or take it out with hopefully other minions. Um, and then we also have, you know, uh, the standard Saj, at least for me, the standard Saj uh, late game curve, which is just like Amara's and Starfire Scarabs. Um, I kind of went back to my deck building roots, like when I first started getting into the game, cards that seemed really good just because they were efficient, like Dancing Blades, Primus Shieldmaster, we have a couple Stars Fury because I've been seeing a lot of Reva lately on the, on the ladder, and it's hard to take out uh, the Heartseekers without it, I found, so I put a couple of those in. Uh, Zephyr is a card I am trying out, I'm probably going to take it out. It's, I think it only came in handy once, and I usually end up replacing it, so I'm sure we could find something better. Um, we have a couple of Wildfire Onks, as well as Staff of Vakir. It's kind of like a artifact slash uh, just kind of like mid-range combination deck. Uh, we have Falcius, of course. Um, incredible card. We have Blazehound in here, mainly for the card draw, and it's got decent stats. Um, we have packs for the early game, of course, Azure Herald to keep us healthy, uh, Science First Wish, a uh, good um, like buff card, and then it replaces itself, and then uh, Standard Blood Tier. Seems like there are very few lists without Blood Tier. Uh, so that is the deck list. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into... Whoa, where'd it go? There it is. Let's go ahead and jump in here, see if we can get some fun games going. Uh, this deck list has been working out for me the last couple of days. I've actually not played in probably like two days. I've been pretty busy uh, trying to take care of some stuff around the house and stuff. Um, but before that I was playing it and it was working pretty well. We are getting towards the end of the month here so uh, either people have already hit the level that they want and uh, aren't playing as much or we're hitting maybe the newer players who don't have the collection or the skill quite yet to make it super high in the ladder. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is uh, I, it's not being tested against the best of the best players in the game. Uh, so PAX is great. We're going to keep that. We're going to go ahead and toss this back and this back. Uh, it's just too early for this and uh, we don't need two Primus Shield Masters. I'm hoping for another two drop. Uh, if not, we can always use the Wildfire Ankh and kind of retreat back and attack while uh, until we can play some bigger minions. There's another 2 drop. Let's see what uh, Fire Shaman has for us here. One bladed up. Um, let's see. So how do I want to do this? Hmm. It might almost be worth it to just stay back and attack with this for now. I guess let's toss... For now, let's toss you back and see if we can get like another pack. Okay. Well, that works fine. Because that'll put this at 3 health, right? Okay. So, we're just going to... Dump our hand and replace it real quick. Uh, essentially what I'm trying to do here is make it its health range out of their general's attack range. Uh, let's go ahead and end turn here. And I was worried that if I played it and we're going to play just like a single Scion's First Wish into it, his general would walk up and attack it. Um, still pretty good for him. Good trade. But uh, I want this to be able to hopefully kill this. We've replaced 
the science first wishes with the primus shield master and a starfire scarab and then we got a zephyr in our hand this might be okay oh he's gonna attack into our face that's fine i guess Where are you going? You're going there. Okay. So, let's get rid of one of you. Um, yeah, honestly, I think just our best move is to just play this and attack into the Silver Guard Knight. Uh, yeah. Well, in turn, we're already pretty low on health, but that tends to happen against Lionar, considering their early game minions are super strong. This ends up being a three mana. F oh no, he didn't. Okay, he must have a four mana card he really wants to play. Tempest. Never mind. That ends up being okay. And by okay, I mean fantastic. <laughs> God, I'm I'm dead already. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Can I... Let's see. Three, five, into this? So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Play this. Play this. I'm playing a little aggressive, which may not be the best thing. Um, but there we're able to clear his board, put some damage on him, and uh, get a couple of our own minions on the board here. Is there anything I want to replace? Probably Star's Fury is not what we need right now. Dancing Blades could be good here. Ooh, and this could be a good follow-up along with the Star Fire Scarab. We'll see what our opponent plays. Oh, he's just... He must have an easy way to finish me off or something here. Silver Guard Knight, of course. So, okay, that's the best way to do this. Is there a best way to do this? I don't really want to take four attack. So, I guess we'll just play this here. Actually, let's replace you for now. Can we get some kind of MR or something? No, okay. So let's, I guess, place you here. God, I'm going so low on health here. Is it worth it to attack into it? I think so, because he's going to put that on it. Let's just run up here. We need it named Mara bad. I don't want to attack into him. This is not what we need. Sorry, I keep blocking my mouth with my hand. Probably messing up my audio a little bit here. Feeling very, very pressured. Which, uh, like I think I mentioned in the explanation of the deck, um, one of the ways to be easily beaten by this uh, sorry, one of the easy ways to beat this deck is to um, play against it very aggressively. Okay, so... Star's Fury... Not gonna do it. Uh, so we're on 7, we can go up to 8. So I think that's what we'll do. Uh, n okay, so I think we need to try to play the long game here. Uh, this will come up here. This will come here. Uh, 
Uh, we will take care of this. And I was going to attack with this into his general, but that's kind of what I was thinking. Uh, is that I need to attack into this instead, because if he has a uh, Divine Bond, then we are in trouble. There's some healing. That's going to be good. We can play that along with some card draw. Some Fire Blaze goodness. Hopefully at this point we can kind of stabilize and pull the game back in our favor. Oh. Yeah, unfortunately, a very uh, aggressive deck tends to outpace this deck and uh, punishes us for our late game. Okay, so there's a dispel, but that's okay. I think that's an okay use of Dispel. There's the Divide and Bond I was worried about. And does, uh, does he have an extra damage? Does he have an extra damage in there somewhere? Hmm, does not look like it. So, I don't think... Five. Is there anything in a three or two drop that I'd want to play? Uh, well, let's just replace this. I don't think. Okay, blood tier could be good here. So let's easily bop this. Um. We're playing you no matter what. Let's try to... Maybe surround his general a little bit here. Um, three, let's put you here. Ooh, I like this. Um, so yeah, I guess let's... Put on this, you can come down here, you can bop this, you can bop that, you can bop him. And then uh, we will end our turn. Yeah, end our turn. There's an Amara. Uh, there are a lot of things that we're easily dead to here. So, he's replacing, so he doesn't have exactly what he needs quite yet. We have a massive, massive army out on the field. There are definitely ways that he could still win. Tiger Afterblaze. Uh, yeah, I mean, with Lionar, there's so many possibilities. I mean, he's got eight. He's got nine damage sitting in his face, unless he can play a big provoke. And uh, hopefully, our opponent is smart enough that if he does play a big provoke, he staggers himself with his minion. He doesn't just take a step down. Obviously, uh, we have Blast, so you want to try to avoid lining yourself up with your minions. He does line up, but uh, there's obviously no way... F okay, so he's going to heal. That's fine. We'll throw an Amara in his face. So... Let's see, can we just beat him? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, right? Uh, sorry, I'm like tired, so 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah, I mean, we have way more than enough. And we'll say, well played! They really put the pressure on us in the beginning of that game, but we were able to come back and secure victory. I almost missed Lethal by just trying to figure out, uh, hey, we got a win streak going here. Got a couple of 
quests and gold making deals. Let's go ahead and play another. I almost missed Lethal there because I was so concerned about clearing his board and trying to stay alive. When uh, the easiest way to stay alive is to kill the opposing general. Whoa, okay. That game took a lot longer than I thought. We're going first here. We need to get rid of you. We could use health against Magmar. They, there's an, <laughs> there another faction that can burn us down very quickly. We're keeping you for sure. Let's get rid of you for now. No, we don't need such late game yet. Okay, Pax, perfect. Alright. Let's go ahead and run forward. Pax, you are our friend. In turn. Good luck, have fun, Grignac. Supporter of Voth and the Magmar aspects. Let's see. Is there anything that I'm too worried about right away from Magmar? I think Gro used to be the one uh, minion from Magmar that I was really, really worried about early game and uh, has really fallen out of favor. Okay. So. Uh, I think we're going to get rid of you. Or do I like everything in my hand? A draw option. Well, we don't need draw quite yet. Okay, that'll work. Uh, I honestly think what I'm going to do I really want to use this and get some damage in on them and I mean it's not going to take care of that nothing's going to take care of that so I guess yes let's put this on and do some damage and end our turn. I don't know that that was the best play there. I don't know that there was a best play. There's no way that we could deal with the young Selthar's egg. But at least that way we were able to... Um... Although that may... that probably wasn't the best thing because it reset its health 3, which means it's not gonna die to anything on the board. I think that that was a misplay. But what else could I... I guess I could have fireblazed? Instead of replacing the fire blaze, what do you have for us here? There's a tiger. What's it going to take out? Okay, there's natural selection. This guy's ruining all of my plans. Alright. Let us... I think I like everything in my hand okay. Take a step up, fire into his face, and we'll drop you in the center of the board. And uh, we'll go ahead and end our turn. Oh. When I said I was playing uh, relatively well, or when I was having good luck with the deck, um, before I kind of. It wasn't really a break, it's just I didn't have time to play. Uh, what I meant is that I never really got super pressured early game, and so it was a lot more even versus right now. Um, it's a lot of getting very pressured very quick and uh, trying to stay alive. Okay, we have to take care. I hate using uh, dancing blades on it, but like this thing has gotten so much value for him. 
and everything else in my hand still seems okay. I don't know why it wouldn't let me attack it right there. Go ahead and turn. Although, uh, surprisingly, we're doing okay health-wise. I mean, we're pretty evenly matched. Uh, he can go into a Macantor here, but it can't kill the Dancing Blade, so that's not a big issue for us. What do you got for us? What do you have for us? There's the Macantor. Just gonna hit General, of course. Okay. So this is Blood Surge. Um. <laughs> There's not a way that I can play both, huh? And still kill both of these. Because I need seven. So, we're not going to be able to use a U anytime soon. A Mar could be good. But is it good enough? Um, no, I don't think so. I think... What we really need to do is just stagger and prepare for another Macantor. And just take out this one while we can. And then this next turn we could hopefully Amara. Or we might even be able to nosh rack, but I, it might be a turn too early. We might just start trying to run, drop an Amara in his face, try to run, and block off his approach to us. Healing Mystic, that is fine by me. We can take that out and get a favorable trade. Uh, another one? So we're not going to be able to get both trades. What is this? A oh, Thumping Wave? He's gonna force that to attack into him, and he's gonna—he's gonna hit us. So, not good enough. Okay. Blast right there would have been pretty good. Let's run. We'll do that. We will do this. Uh, and let's hope we don't get McCantored. Because McCantored just means death. Uh, does it? Uh, no. Uh, maybe. Let me think about it. <laughs> that Amara throws a wrench into things. Oh, replaces. Looking for the Amara? Or the, the Amara. Looking for the uh, Macantor? Okay, that's fine with me. Take that out. Okay, he's looking to sustain here. He's down to top decking. Oh, this. This just wins it, right? Uh, he attacks into it, it does 10. And then another 10. Just in case I'm wrong. Let's run. That's just that's 20 damage. <laughs> Alright! Well, there you go! Noshrak plus a Mara is uh, a deadly deadly combo i think that's where i'm gonna end it this video ends up taking quite a bit of time uh this deck tends to play slow i think i i mean that became obvious through uh 
multiple explanations of the deck throughout the video. So uh, usually I like to try to get in three games, but uh, this I think is probably long enough. Anyways, uh, thank you for stopping by and watching the video. Um, I definitely appreciate it if you leave it a like or if you subscribe to the video. Um, yeah, pretty much that's it. Thank you very much for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Bye.